Hey there. This is Max from Zofa Lifestyle YouTube channel. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, I just wanted to make this first uh, video about my breastfeeding journey slash difficulties um, because it was really hard and you know I just let a lot of things influence me and stress me out and I should have just I wish you know somebody would have just said relax this is what you need to do okay so first um, issue that I had was that I introduced the bottle to my daughter too soon um, like five days in and you know she just got used to that and got used to how fast it was coming out and also the size of the nipple that I had was a size one um, which I later learned from another breastfeeding mama um, that I was following on Instagram that she was giving her son the preemie sized nipple um, because it comes out slower because she was breastfeeding and it and the stream comes out slower so that way um, they don't prefer the bottle over the breast that was my first mistake um, so you know that just you know threw everything off and that's when things kind of started changing um, so we were doing bottle and breastfeeding for about a month and a half and then about a month and a half she started to really prefer the bottle um, and you know we were still nursing but she would latch on and then latch off latch on latch off and just keep doing that so I would just get frustrated and I would just give her the bottle um, and then at two months exactly she refused the breast and you know I was devastated because I had always wanted to breastfeed it had never been in my it was never in my mind that I wasn't gonna breastfeed and it had never crossed my mind that it would be difficult and that, you know, the baby just wouldn't do it. You know, I didn't know. I didn't know anything, you know. And so um, at two months, about two and a half months after trying everything, buying all the, you know, nipple shields, every type of nipple shield that there is, I bought that. Um, I seen a, a mom on YouTube that she cut the tip of a nipple shield off so that way her nipple was kind of coming through and that helped her um, get her baby latched onto her breast I tried that that didn't work um, I bought everything I went to lactation consultant the first time that I went to lactation consultant my baby was about mm, about two months and she kind of basically told me like you know your baby's already two months she's used to the bottle and you know basically told me it's over um and i didn't want to accept that because i just i wanted to breastfeed and you know i i just didn't want to accept that it was over and you know two months your baby is still tiny your baby is still learning um, but in my head and people, you know, the professionals telling me like, you know, your baby's old, it was getting to me, you know, and even my friends were saying like, well, you introduce a bottle, you know, it's over, it's over, she's not going to go back to it. And just constantly hearing things like that on top of, you know, dealing with postpartum and, you know, it, it was really affecting me, it was really stressing me out, I was pumping all the time, I was stressed out because I just couldn't get her back to lash, I could not do it. Um, and so I ended up, about two and a half months, I ended up going back to a lactation consultant um, and it was a different lady this time and she, you know, we tried everything, we tried a little tube taped to my breast um, tried to do that she kind of latched on for a second and it was like ah you know she's doing it but it really didn't do anything um, and so the baby started crying and the lactation consultant seen that she had a tongue tie she's like oh she looks like she's tongue tied and I didn't even know what that was um, and I had noticed um, even when I gave birth when I or after I had given birth I noticed the whole time that we were breastfeeding um, that she was kind of making a clicking sound 
but I didn't know that that's what that meant is that she had a tongue tie I just thought well she's just drinking my boob you know and even you know the the nurses and everything were were there and they didn't say anything about the clicking noise nobody said anything about her having a tongue tie you know and here I am two and a half months later after all these struggles and they're like the lactation consultant is telling me that she's tongue tied so I ended up we ended up um making an appointment getting her tongue tie released um and then after that I just tried and tried. I kept trying. I was doing, uh, la trying to latch her with the nipple shield, um, and she latched for you know a, a minute, and and just that was just like you know, yes. I was just so happy, like oh my gosh, you know maybe she maybe she is gonna go back to it. Maybe she maybe it will work, you know, and um, she was still kind of making the clicking sound, but not really. And when your baby has a tongue tie, um, they're not fully latched onto your nipple, so. It, this is their tongue and it kind of massage when your baby is latched they massage your nipple so that way they're getting the milk out but my baby's tongue was you know it's it stuck so she couldn't really massage it out so she wasn't fully latched which is why she kept clicking because she couldn't grasp onto my nipple with her tongue um so yeah i ended up um getting that clipped and then I tried everything was doing the nipple shield she was kind of doing it and then um, I was kind of getting discouraged I was really discouraged really stressed out pumping all the time and just you know doing all the things trying all the things crying and just you know upset and blaming myself and stressed out and I just knew that I didn't want to give up and I didn't care that my baby was almost three months or three months at this point um, so I just kept doing it every morning you know when I was really full my breasts were full that's when I would um, latch her on to see you know like is she gonna do it is she gonna do it so eventually she started latching on for a little bit longer uh, with the nipple shield I kept trying without the nipple shield but she knew when it wasn't on there um, and I just didn't want to use a nipple shield anymore so eventually uh, one day you know I just said okay I'm not gonna stress about it I'm not gonna stress about um, what people are telling me you know I was watching all these YouTube videos of moms who had the same problem but their babies were small their babies were you know a month old or even a couple days old and my baby was already three months um, but I had seen some moms that have gotten their babies back, you know, even at four months. I had seen some videos of moms at four months who got their babies back to latch. So I, one day, you know, uh, we were just sitting on the couch and she was in her diaper. We were doing skin to skin and I just was like I'm just gonna try and put it in there see what happens and she latched on and she just started drinking it and I couldn't believe it I was just like oh my gosh it's really happening it's really happening um and you know ever since that day I had introduced it a little bit more our morning feedings um turned into nurse feedings um and then eventually she just got back to it she just got used to it and I did a lot of skin to skin and you know it, it was amazing because I was so discouraged I was so hurt I was really blaming myself I was so stressed out and you know I'm just making this video to tell you mamas out there who feel the same way or, or had the same um feelings as I did or stress or or you know guilt that I had that it is possible to get your baby back latched and it doesn't matter how old they are um, and it doesn't matter what anybody says it's your baby if you want to breastfeed your baby no matter if they're three months or six months if you want to get back to it you can and don't let anybody influence you otherwise you know because it is possible and um, yeah my baby now is nine months and we breastfeed and I do still give her a bottle sometimes and you know there's nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with any of that but you know I just wanted to breastfeed and I loved it so much and 
you know this is just my video to encourage you mamas don't give up if that's what you want to do don't give up don't listen to anybody else just do what you want to do um so yeah that's my youtube video of my breastfeeding journey um and just some encouragement for you moms out there um so yeah uh, like this video subscribe to my channel for more videos uh soon to come and uh thanks for watching bye